and welcome back. Okay, we are stepping out of the norm here. Entertainment critic Ryan Jay is here today. That's right, not just a Friday, because today he's got all the shows that are worth streaming while you're at home. Good to see you, Ryan. Good to see you, too. Hi, Ryan. Hi. All right, so let's break it down. Do you want to give us any update on how, I mean, I feel like everybody's following all the celebrities in Hollywood and, and their diagnosis. Right, well, at the box office, because we know that everything's closing and we're social distancing, at the box office this weekend, it was the worst box office in 20 years. Wow. But Universal Studios is the one uh, movie studio that's kind of stepping up. So, like, the movie that I recommended last Friday, The Hunt, that I was like, yeah. go out and see it, but don't go see it, you know, because right. you don't want to go out. It's this Friday is being made available to stream at home for $19.99. You can stream it for 48 hours. You can basically rent it. All their movies. So The Invisible Man, The Hunt, yeah. Trolls World Tour, which is opening on April 10th. Instead of Trolls pushing back World that, Tour. instead of pushing that date back, it's now going to be made available for in-home viewing wow. and streaming for $19.99 for 48 hours. So how do people find it if they're yeah. not familiar with streaming? Yeah, um, it's probably. I'm assuming. I don't know for sure, but I'm Search assuming it. like on iTunes Any of these or some other. You? Yeah, some other. You know. <laughs> okay. You can probably rent it on like iTunes or something okay okay service. very cool so people can find some of the newer ones yeah so online. it's exciting that that's because otherwise that we're not going to get new movies all the major releases have been postponed through uh, yeah. March and April and for the foreseeable future yeah. I'm sure and filming as well yeah. you know um, okay let's break down some that you do have this first one's on Apple TV plus this is amazing stories right this is the reboot of the series from that was on NBC from 1985 to 1987 oh. produced by Steven Spielberg and it's an anthology series and it's really really cool it's kind of like Twilight Zone meets Tales from the Dark Side. Oh. What do you want to say about the individual episodes? Well, the first episode was The Cellar, and that one was amazing. It's got the, the boy, you see that's them there. That's the name of it? That's the girl from You, season two. Oh, Remember, she played Love? yeah. We, we all watched I was obsessed you on Netflix. with that. I haven't seen yeah, it. Yes, so good. That You, by the way, on Netflix, if you haven't seen that, that's a show to watch. But um, that's the boy from The Maze Runner, and that's a travel, time travel romance. I loved episode one. Okay. Oh, cool. Sure. What about episode two? Episode two is the heat, and it's not as good as the first one. It's very dark. It's kind of tragic. Uh, the acting isn't as good. It's kind of like a bad Twilight Zone. So I'd say skip episode two. We're not seeing it right here, but then um, episode three is getting better buzz. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. All right, let's talk The Pale Horse on Amazon Prime. This is one you like worth streaming? Yeah, this is great. Okay. This is a two-part, two-hour uh, Agatha Christie adaptation. Ooh. And what I love about it is it's a very moody uh, adaptation of 1960s London. And, and it's got some mysticism in it. It's not just the kind of uh, whodunit where there's a, a Sherlock Holmes-type character. You feel like you can relate to the sort of everyman, Ooh. and you're piecing together the puzzle. Yeah. With Ooh, that's scary. a creepy. Yeah. Um, you said you said Agatha Christie, and that makes me think that it might be smart. It is very smart. There's a lot of uh, in intellectual, different kinds of plot lines that intersect. It's not confusing and difficult to follow, but it makes you feel really smart while you're watching it, and you're figuring it out also. It's artistically shot. Some of the imagery is a little bit gross. It takes place in much deeping Surrey, which was an area that I thought was kind of fun for, uh, for, uh, for a place. But I like putting the puzzle. We were talking about puzzles earlier. Yeah. 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 Just putting a puzzle together. On, the movie on puzzle. Screen. Right. Okay, and that again is called the pale horse and that's right. on Amazon Prime. Oh, and also Prime. halfway through it gets all midsummery. So if oh, you like midsummer. I love midsummer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. There's a moment about that's half cool. hour into the first episode. But yeah. Okay. I like it. okay. The plot against America on HBO. This debuted just last night on HBO, and it is uh, adapted from the Philip Roth 2004 novel, uh, and it's like a, an alternate reality where Charles Lindbergh had become president instead of FDR. Okay. Oh, interesting. So is this kind of like a classic? It is. It's a, like a classic HBO show. You know what I mean? Oh. Like the cla like it's kind of like the, how The Sopranos was, but this is instead of an Italian family, it's a Jewish family and set in 1940. Okay. Is there acting in this that you're really fond of? I love, you know, before there was Nicole Kidman in my eyes, <laughs> it was Winona Ryder. Oh, But then, okay. you know, after her whole shoplifting incident. But like, yeah. people don't get comebacks anymore. Winona <laughs> has had a comeback, what with Stranger Things and everything else. Like, she's a com an, like an actress comeback story. Yeah. I love her in this. It'll be interesting to see if she gets a Best Actress nomination out of this. All right. That's, what that's, if somebody just wants to purchase a, a Blu-ray? There's a couple new ones. Yeah, new today on Blu-ray, okay. as a matter of fact, is Richard Jewell, which is fantastic. It's based on the uh, the 1996 bombing in Atlanta. He was falsely accused of being a terrorist. This is like a biopic. It's directed by Clint Eastwood. Really good. Available mm. to stream, but also available today for at home on Well, and my friend said he mm. believed Richard Jewell did it. 
until yeah. seeing this. Like, really? There wasn't a lot made out mm. of what happened in the aftermath. Yeah, he was falsely accused, and it was horrible, but he, his whole life was ruined, you mm. know, because the media and uh, the FBI really yeah. vilified him, and they're like, oh, sorry, so... It's it's re it's a, it's a pretty good true story. Really good, yeah. yeah. And I think mm -hmm. an important part of our history to kind Absolutely. of yeah. understand better. So true. Um, and you want digital cats, right? Cats, my yeah. favorite movie of last year. I was the only one who liked it in the world. <laughs> but it's coming out on Blu-ray next month. But it's available today to stream. So you can go so to creepy. iTunes. It's not creepy. It's fabulous. It's a great. You know, now you can finally see it and judge for yourself what everybody was like complaining about at the end of last year. So. Okay, there you right. go. I like really, that. Really then you're good. in the conversation. So so good. All right. Well, I like this. Gives us some ideas yeah. of things to do at home. So Absolutely. thank you, Ryan. Yeah. Appreciate thank you. that. All right, you can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter, and for his full movie reviews, you got to check out his website. We know you're home online, so RyanJReviews.com. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Bye. I appreciate it. I was going to say, have a good weekend. Yeah, yeah right, exactly. not Friday. I'll be back on Friday. I'll be back on Friday. Thank you so you're much. Welcome.